Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. PS3 HD Blind! Wait, no, that's not my Let's Play. So, last time, we had a good old gaggle of people. Um, and I mean a good old gaggle. We had LB Crotus, Crotus, Cronus, 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 Crona, Crona. Oh, we had LB Crona. Um, and then we had Ben Vidshipma. And then we had XX Sexbox C Sex 4X. And um I think that's it. No, we also had um CPC psychopath CPT psychopath no um and I, I said all those usernames incorrectly because it's 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 fun to do that. But yeah, so we had a lot of guests last time and it was fun. Um it was a good way to fight off um Hulk Hogan. But um now it's time to fight the final Colossus. And uh fun fact I recorded this once already. And then it turns out my my game recording had no audio. So I had to redo this entire thing. And it was a good hour and 10 minutes, but at least this time I'm not going to like it'll I'll have had a practice run. <clears throat> now I'm going to be clearing my throat and I'm probably coughing and stuff randomly because I'm still getting over being sick. Uh, oh god. I wasn't expecting that. Good job, Agro. But I need to edit. I'm hopefully I'm going to remember to edit out little sneezes and coughs. Even if it sounds awkward with the silence for a second, I'd rather do that because I'm still getting over. Like I said, I was getting over having a cold, and um, I actually got cold. I got a cold for the week of a uh, convention I was just uh, attending. Which sucked because I probably got other people sick, but, um, yeah. So I still have the remnants of that, and I'm still got, got a little tickle in my throat. Um, still got a uh, stuffed up nose to some degree, and, uh, random sneezing. So, there's a heads up on that. I shouldn't have too much trouble, though. I should be, uh, I should be alright. I just have to clear my throat a little bit more than normal. I always have to clear my throat to begin with, because I think I have some sort of, um, sinus drip issue nasal drip or some some sort of stupid shit like that but yeah so <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we've gone to this little shrine here before let me just um I could go and explore around like a wide area and get a bunch of lizard tails if I wanted to but I really don't to be honest that's a lot of work <laughs> and um, I don't particularly have the, the time to do all that, so I'll just do the basics. I've already checked all these trees, I believe. <coughs> I'm pretty sure I've already been over here at all these trees. So, the way we need to go is straight over there. It's between these cliffs. And the road to this Colossus is actually going to be very tough and very, um... Very tedious. I use that word a lot, tedious. But, um... It's it's a, it's a good descriptive word for for what I need it for. <clears throat> now there is a shiny lizard tail at this safe shrine over here, so I may as well grab it because every bit right before, like if it's on the way, I'll grab it because every bit is gonna help. Because uh, yeah, this is gonna need a lot of stamina for this one. That almost looked like a shiny tail, but it wasn't. It's just a weird glimmer on the outline. Has a lot of lizards as you can tell. I ran that one over. You know what? For the hell of it, let's let's kill it. And just eat its tail. Nothing happens. Absolutely nothing. Alright, so let's see if we can find this guy. Don't know where he's at. But he could be easy to get to. He could be hiding. It could be anywhere. It could be like right there. And then kinda running away. Oh, hi, how you doing? How you doing, Buck Buckaroo? Gotcha. Alright, cool. That was easy. Now I've mentioned before. If you save at every shrine, like every single shrine in the game, 
you will get a trophy for that, and it's a silver trophy. <laughs> I'm not going to do that in this playthrough. Um, I've done that on my own PlayStation 3 and my PlayStation account, but I'm not logged into my account right now because it's just not worth it when I don't have this PS3 hooked up to the internet. I'm just borrowing it just to play the game. Yeah, it's hard to think you can play a video game without an internet connection, huh? I mean, the PlayStation 3 required an internet connection for a lot of stuff, but uh, you could play the games without an internet connection. Although, I guess to some degree, you still can with um, like PS4 games and stuff. Some of them, as long as they're DRM free. But, uh, yeah, it's just, just strange to think. It looks like he's holding something, but he's not. He's just got his hand back there. And Aggro's just jumping everywhere today. So, go ahead and stop, Aggro. Ag Aggro. Okay, back up now. Come on. C c come on, back up. <coughs> I'm not going to jump off of you just for this. There we go. Now we're doing it. Alright. Look, I'm petting her. Good horsey. Now you want to do that. Now that's called magic. The way that opens like that, I love it. So, let's go. Get your, get your, get your horse ass moving, aggro. I don't say horse anymore, I say horse. I don't know why. I think it was a joke that I made recently with someone. Oh yeah, there's another lizard tail on this one. Um, if I actually look... Oh, what the hell? I didn't mean to run into that. I think there is another lizard tail here, though. Yep, right there. So, let's go ahead and shoot it. Oh, I missed. It's the first time in a while that I've missed. I've been I've been doing I've been on a good roll lately. Oh well well hi I can I can just get your tail if you stay still I can get your tail without hurting you. What 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 what? I well, I I had a I I shot his tail. But he ran away with the with the, with the narrow in his tail. How? Oh my god, look at Wander. Look at this disgusting thing. Jeez. He used to have red hair, if you remember. He, in the beginning, he had red hair. Like a, like a dark raspberry red. Now it's just black and null. Yeah, I don't know how that worked out. How, how the lizard ran away with an arrow in its tail. I shot it in the tail so I wouldn't have to kill it. And I could still take its tail, but no! <coughs> Damn thing still ran away, so I had to kill it. So, oh well. I like how. It ran oh, 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 oh. It's this part of the game. This motherfucker killed his horse. <clears throat> he pushed his horse that far. That horse has been through us. They've been through everything with us during the entire game. Literally everything. We we couldn't have fought several of those colossi without aggro. And he just tosses aggro aside. Let let let's aggro just fall and die. Like what a what a, what a, what a good man, pal. What 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 a what a what a what a good, you know, caretaker you are. Oh, and I I I'm making I'm making this a lot more difficult on myself than I need to. But yeah, so 
There goes Aggro. Aggro's dead. And can I please... Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go this way. Probably safer and easier. Yeah, so there goes Aggro. The entire Let's Play, or the entire game. Okay, can I... I need to not talk and play video games, apparently. I should quit making Let's Plays. I can't do anything right. I just... I, I can't believe the horse is gone. I can't believe Aggro is gone. It makes me so sad. So, anyways, forget about the fucking horse. We're gonna make sure Wanderer continues with this massacre that he's this killing spree. His bloodlust cannot be set, cannot be quenched. His thirst cannot be quenched until every giant thing in this area is 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 dead. <clears throat> so far, we killed fifteen. And now he's got one more. Look at that steep fall down there. That horse is definitely dead. But yeah, Wander's just going around killing all these innocent creatures. Have you ever st stopped to think about all these things, all these creatures that, that we've been killing? There was a bird that was minding its own business. There was, there was a horse. Curious little horse thing. There was a turtle. There was even a giant, you know, sea monster thing that just minded its own business until you, you know, came and woke it up and made it start shooting at you. And then the worst one is this one. Do you see that? Look. It's chained up. It's, it's, it can't even move. This is Malice. The final Colossus. He is literally chained up and cannot move. And no, he's not going to break free of this. He literally cannot move. Also, I like it that it's raining. I really like that it's raining. I didn't want, want to fall there. But yeah, I really like that it's raining. It, it's such a great touch. It emphasizes how dramatic and serious this final Colossus fight is. It's it's amazing. The theme here is set perfectly. So this guy launches rockets at you from his freaking hands. While he's just sitting there tied up, we're supposed to get to him and kill him. While he's launching rockets... Motherfucking rockets. And uh, those things take a lot of health off you. Now, I'm playing in normal mode, normal difficulty. Because I didn't have hard mode unlocked. Even then, I probably wouldn't have picked hard mode because I don't want to take that long fighting each Colossus. But, in hard mode, that motherfucker takes half your health with all those hits. It's, it's, it's incredible. So you want to hurry and... Use your use your dodge roll quite often, and then just keep doing the same thing. Cause you see how much damage each of those shots are doing. You see how the earth is shaking with each one. Like that shit is rockets, literal rockets being shot at you, being launched from his hands. <clears throat> That's pretty much the only way he can attack you. I wish there was more. I wish there was a bigger variety of things he can do, but all he can do is just launch rockets. Now, he's actually really big, but he's not the biggest. I think he's like the second or third biggest. I th he's probably the second, honestly, because he's tall. He's really tall. But he might be like, oh shit, that better not hit me. I, th he's, I know he's not the biggest for sure. I know for certain he's not the biggest of the Colossus or Colossi. The biggest is Phalanx, because you, you saw that thing. Flying through the air, it's like four of him. In length, it was like four of him. So, but he's he's definitely the biggest um, of the humanoid. Like the, 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 the well, I can't, I can't think of the, the right term. Um, where, where it stands on two legs. <clears throat> he's the biggest of those guys, definitely, hands down. So that's that's pretty interesting. But 
he's all honestly the way I see it is he's the most powerful and evil of all of them like he is I, I just feel like he is the actual most evil one the rest of them are kind of like innocent creatures this dude is actually like evil I he, he like wants destruction and wants to like destroy everything well destruction destroying everything are the same thing but I feel like that's that's the vibe I get from him and that's why he's chained up to begin with but even then he's still chained up and this can't hurt anyone or anything so why 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 do I have to go through the trouble of killing him oh that's right that we have to go through that trouble because because um, mono me because because mono was uh, died yeah that's it save a girl so anyways now we're at the bottom started from the bottom now we're here <laughs> don't mind me had to blow my nose for a second there hopefully I edited that out if not I severely apologize I tend to forget that stuff sometimes but we'll see it depends on when I edit this so yeah we have to climb up this massive I guess shackling whatever is holding him to down has him tied together so we just gotta climb up all the way to the top well actually not all the way to the top we're gonna climb up to his back um, and then we'll work our way up and I think I need to go up right here that's what I'll do and I think if I go over here it should be oh that was nifty I wish I wouldn't have fallen there that would have been cool uh, no don't do that don't do that just get up there thank you I like how when he doesn't have foothold he just kind of flings himself like that this is the only like place I've seen him do that <coughs> I think he can do that at earlier points in the game in certain places if you try and climb around and explore but this is the only Colossus that you've had to climb where it, that happens that is gold shimmering skin the actual the texture looks oh 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 god dang it dang gummit now that texture looks terrible as a low quality terrible texture but this is a PlayStation 2 game so I mean that's that's that's, that's to be expected also I don't think I've ever mentioned this throughout this entire let's play I might have and forgotten completely but um, I've been recording this through HDMI. Not that it matters really. Like it's, it's like, oh, I haven't mentioned this whole time. I've been recording through HDMI. Like no one gives a shit, I'm sure. But if you're aware of like PlayStation 3, you can't really record with uh, through HDMI unless you have a um, HDMI splitter that does the HDCP stripping. Which it just so happens I don't have one of those. But my capture card natively does HDCP stripping. Which I found out is absolutely amazing. So I don't have to use component cables. I can use a single HDMI cable to record this and, and, and use my use APS3. Which is absolutely brilliant. I, I love it so much because it's so much simpler, the better quality. Um just just generally so much more efficient than component cables. But that being said, no one really cares much about that, so I'm not going to go on about it too much. Just figured it was neat to mention, I've been doing this with HDMI, and that's why it looks as good as I can get it for PlayStation 3. So anyways, now we're at his back. Actually, that's his stomach. We're going to get around to his back here. And you see the spot here. You can climb on top and do it, or you can just jump and hit him like that. Now he's going to put his hand back there. Anyone jump to his hand, or okay? I thought I fucked it. I thought I fucked it. No, I fucked it again. There we go. Got it. All right. So I'm jump to his hand, and once he brings you around, you can like stab it, and he'll bring you up to his face. I should have stabbed it. Oh, hey, then go all the way down. So anyways, just do the same thing and time your jumps accordingly. I'm just going to go ahead and climb up 
around his hand like so and just run up. Now you want to get to the front of his arm here and stab because that's going to make him lose power in his arm. I think. Oh no! That's not what he's going to do. It's going to make us jump to his other hand. And then what you want to do is you can climb around or you can wait to get a good spot and poke him. And he's going to turn it around. That way he can look at his hand and see what's hurting him. And then from there you want to not do that. Okay, I'm going to stab his hand again. Make him hold it still and look at it for a minute. Once you do that, you want to shoot his exposed shoulder, like so. And that's going to make him bring the hand over there. Now, thankfully, I did remember to do all this in that previous recording attempt. I didn't have any troubles remembering what to do. <clears throat> now, we're going to get up here on his neck and restore some stamina. And then, just get a sweet spot. There's a, there's a good sweet spot to get right back back down a little bit there we go that's a good sweet spot once you get it you don't wiggle around too much you don't move around too much as you can see I'm able to get some good stabs off and this is the only spot that he has um, I'm sure he has another one on his stomach or something if you do this in hard mode but it helps a lot be having the sweet spot as you can see I got a lot of stabs off there It's funny. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this thing already. I'm, I'm done with this thing already. Because... 30 minutes in. Alright, come on now. Let's just get a jump stab. Why not? Let's just get a good old jump stab in there for old time's sake. Just for the fuck of it. Now, one more good stab... If he stands still, I'll get another jump stab, but I don't think he'll stand still long enough to be able to. No? Okay. That's it. We have a lot of cutscenes coming up.